Hello, my name is Suli Mejia, and I'm a Bachelor of Fine Arts student at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I'm a mixed media artist working primarily in painting and sculpture. My practice explores concepts of identity, womanhood, and femininity. And I began my exploration into these concepts through portraits like the one that we see here. This is a piece titled America. It's 29 by 23 inches and was done using oil and acrylic on canvas. It's a painting of my mother that sought to empower her identity as a Peruvian American woman. It's a piece that was created in response to racist language and actions directed at Hispanic individuals in the U.S., including my mother. The painting's patriotic color scheme acts as a reminder that being American is not exclusive to any single skin tone. I present my mother here as a happy embodiment of the word American. Through portraits like this of real women, I sought to address real issues that many of us interact with. I continued that research for a few years until February of 2019, when a close member of my family passed away and I felt stuck in a place of pain and grief. I didn't feel powerful. I couldn't create work with saturated or vibrant color. This self-portrait titled White on White allowed me to express those emotions and extend the message of empowerment to myself by being vulnerable and using my work as a tool to heal. At this stage, I became really interested in the self and I also began exploring other mediums. This piece was done using ink on paper, with text becoming a representation of me. I consider this work a self-portrait because it's an expression of my internal struggles as a multiracial and multicultural individual. Of Peruvian, Italian, Spaniard, African, and German descent. I approached this work in a manner that felt therapeutic and allowed me to navigate these overlapping identities. I was searching for a way to express my thoughts freely, and I chose to overlap text so that it became partially unreadable, as you can see here. Soon after, I was part of an exhibition titled Tasteful Nudes, and when the other artists and I discussed this theme, we realized we were interested in creating a space where the concept of refined nudity could be deconstructed and redefined to be more inclusive about representation. I created two pieces, Self-Portrait 1, which we see here, and Self-Portrait 2, which we will see next. Both are acrylic on panel. These pieces primarily reference the lack of representation of darker skin tones throughout the history of Western art. The piece we see here depicts my skin tone as it is, and the piece here interprets that skin tone through the language that we use when we speak about racial identity. For example, when we refer to someone as black or as white. Since I am multiracial, I become gray in this painting. Following that exhibition, I worked on my longest painting project, titled Self-Portrait at 22. This is a life-size, naked self-portrait that I created as a way to empower myself throughout my life. This piece is part of a series of works that I will be making every five years to capture who I am and what I look like at different ages. It's a piece that really stemmed out of my desire to show appreciation to my body, but also as a way to publicly express frustration for the way that our culture, and the media in particular, shame women for being human. The decision to emphasize that women have hair by incorporating text in the background came out of wanting to speak out against this obnoxious beauty standard that women are always expected to shave and that it is less feminine not to do that. We're taught this from a young age through advertisements in television and magazines. Women who shave are shown with glowing legs, attracting the attention of men and the admiration of women. But women who don't shave are portrayed being rejected and bullied. So through this painting, I really sought to challenge that by depicting myself not following an unrealistic ideal 
but instead embracing my body hair and being honest about what I look like and what my grooming preferences are. Here I'm just showing a detail of the face. I painted myself wearing glasses because of how significant that is to my identity in that I've been wearing glasses since I was like two years old. And here I'm just showing a close-up of the legs and the leg hair, as well as the feet. After completing that piece, I decided to explore a different medium, and I became interested in sculpture. This piece is titled Rosado Baronal, and it explores femininity and masculinity. I chose to explore this topic by portraying a black male figure because I have seen how men of color are particularly criticized for displaying what might be considered stereotypically feminine traits or preferences, such as wearing pink, or in this case, embodying that color. Lastly, my most recent work has continued my sculptural practice. This piece, titled Toaster Oven, seeks to capture an unwanted feeling that I've experienced of being sexualized and having my personhood ignored. This feeling has derived from experiences like walking down the street and having someone yell out that they like my ass, or being regularly exposed to lyrics in pop culture that treat women strictly like sexual objects, some explicitly suggesting rape, such as Eminem's song titled Vegas. This sculpture seeks to draw attention to that attitude and behavior. I took a functional object, a toaster oven, I painted it in a simplistic manner, and I added female genitalia to it. What ends up happening is that the object's functionality is forgotten. The thing that this oven was designed to do, its purpose or intent if we want to personify, becomes overshadowed by the fact that it has breasts and a vulva, which is how our culture treats women. Through this sculpture and in my practice, I strive to create awareness for women's experiences and remove the stigma of weakness and passivity associated with femininity. Thank you for following my journey, and if you would like to see more of my work, you can check out my website, sulimejia.com, or follow me on Instagram, at sulimgmejia.